Hello everyone. I have some new revelation knowledge from the Holy Spirit of God on the blood moons that I'd like to share with you. Now if this video goes too long, I will make part two because this message, the Holy Spirit said, must go out into the world. I was talking with Preston last night and the Holy Spirit was speaking to Preston and he was talking about Matthew 24 and 43. He wanted to share uh, with me what the Holy Spirit was revealing to him about the thief in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 2, that the thief cometh at night. And we see in verse 4 that you're not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief, that the thief only comes at night. Well, that day went by last night, and then today uh, I was talking with Preston, then the Holy Spirit started speaking to me, and he started bringing that revelation to me. And the Holy Spirit said, Do you not see, Donna? Listen to the word. Revelations chapter 8 and verse 12 and verse 13. We see the signs of the end of the tribulation. We see the sun, uh, an eclipse. We see the blood moon. We see the stars darken. Those are the signs of the return of Jesus Christ and the signs of the end of the tribulation. And uh, we see in verse 13 that the angels are saying, Woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Because Revelations 12 and 12 says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, for the devil has come down unto you with great wrath. The Holy Spirit spoke to me, church, and he said, Donna, listen to me. Matthew chapter 25 and verse 3 and 4. You see the ten virgins, five that have oil, five that are in the light, five that know the time of the return of their Lord and Savior, that he does not come upon them as a thief in the night. The five that have no oil are the ones that are in darkness. We see in Matthew chapter 25 and verse 6, it was dark. It was at night. It was at midnight when Jesus came. We're also seeing in the book of Revelations chapter 8 and 12, when the beast returns, the signs of his return will also be the same signs of the return of Christ. Two thieves will enter into the world. Jesus will return for his church, those that are watching for him in the light. The beast will return for those that are in darkness. There are two bridegrooms. Jesus is coming for his church that is in the light. He will come at night. He will come at an eclipse in the blood moon. Then the stars are darkened. He will come for his church, those that are in the light. The beast will return with the same signs in the heavens. He will come for his church, those that are in darkness, those that have the word but don't have any oil. They are ten virgins. We are the ones with the light. We are looking for our Lord and Savior. Those in darkness are not looking for the return of Jesus Christ. They're looking for the return of their bridegroom, the beast. Woo! That's a revelation knowledge from the Holy Spirit of God. Now, this is the good stuff right here, church. I tell you what, when the Holy Spirit was talking, I said, that's some stuff right there. That's an amazing word. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 5. We are children of the light of the day. We are not in the night nor of the darkness. Now church, this is what the Holy Spirit said. He said, did you not see in Revelations 8 and 12? He said, did you miss something, Donna? And I said, what, my Lord? What did I miss? He said, it says the day shined the night not. The day did not shine nor the night likewise. He said, do you see? Those that are on the side of the world where it is day will have an eclipse. Those that are on the side of the world where it is night will have a blood moon and the stars will be darkened because they'll be falling because it's coming, church. I'm telling you, I believe by the Holy Spirit of God that for the return of Jesus Christ will happen on the Feast of Tabernacles. There'll be signs in the heavens. The sun will be dark. There'll be an eclipse. There'll be a blood moon. And the stars will be dark and fall into the earth, preparing for war with those on the earth. We will see the signs when we know when our Lord and Savior is returning. We know the signs, church. We know the signs. At the same time, the beast is about to be revealed. There'll be two bridegrooms coming in the night. Those in the light will see Jesus, their groom. Those in the darkness will see their groom, the beast. The church is going home. Praise God, the church is going home. 
the Holy Spirit of God did amazing mighty work and I got some stuff to tell you about the angel with the seven vials that's amazing revelation I'm gonna make another video on that showing you and establishing this word what the Holy Spirit has given to me church the Holy Spirit of God spoke and he said to tell you you are in the light you know the signs when your bridegroom is coming you know the signs those in the darkness they also know the signs when their bridegroom's coming too Woo, glory we're going home church we're going home that is what the holy spirit of god revealed to preston and me we're going home i'll see you in paradise oh let me tell you this before i go the holy spirit spoke to preston and he said do you not see Jesus will not go to battle without his bride. The beast will not go to battle without his bride. Keep that in mind right there, church, because when I reveal to you Revelations chapter 17 and verse 1 and verse 3 by the power of the Holy Ghost, Woo! Glory. Oh, I tell you, church, I was over here dancing this morning. I was just dancing and praising God that this revelation knowledge that the Holy Spirit was pouring out on Preston and me. It's amazing word, church. We know the signs. We will see an eclipse. We will see a blood moon. And the stars will be dark and fall into the earth. And two bridegrooms will enter into the world two thieves will enter into the world we the uh, the light will see our lord and savior those that are in the darkness will see their groom the beast because the beast will be revealed when you see the signs, that's what the Holy Ghost told me church the Holy Ghost said Revelation chapter 8 and 12 when you see these signs when the sun is darkened and the moon is blood and the stars are darkened and they're falling to the earth, the beast will be revealed on this earth and Jesus will come for his church. I'm ready. I got some more to tell you, church. I got so much to tell you what the Holy Spirit of God has been doing. It's just amazing. I just love him. I just thank him for giving me and Preston this amazing gospel because we're not nobody, church, that God should look down from heaven and give us his precious words. Praise God. Hallelujah. Woo! Glory. Glory, Lord. I just got to shout. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know about you, church. I'm ready to meet my bridegroom. I'm ready to go home for the wedding. Amen. I'll see you at the wedding. God bless you.